so speaking of cutting you off, by the way, what else do you have to say about the Dobrik thing? Because you should have a chance to finish your statement from well, the last episode. Well, that's what everyone episode. was saying. Dude. Yeah, here's why I should cut you off. Because you have nothing else to say. You're wrong. What do you got? I forgot. I have security cameras everywhere in my house. Yeah. So I went on and I looked uh, at this at the time when David, Corinna, and Jeff were on um, on the studio. And you, so, could hear somehow, what they, you could hear what they were saying. I could hear what they were saying. Okay. They made a suicide forest joke. One one of them one of them uh, Jeff was actually it was caught on camera. Someone like Instagram him and he was like making fun of me and my my mistakes and my controversy. Jeff, what's good, bro? Then then you text me the next day and you want, say you want to go running at Runyon Canyon or or you want to box sometime? Like please please come over and we can handle this. Like men instead of coming on at my house on my podcast and talking shit. and David too, bro. Like yeah, I everyone I, everyone has has these internet personas, but. They come to my house in real life and and the the blatant disrespect right in front of my eyes, like, but but also behind my back, uh, I don't like it. I feel like this is another one of those bot those sparring things. Like where we entered onto the episode after he sparred and he just hates everyone. No, I think I, I bro, love I think, people. No, I think I think you're offering like a really valid point. Like, why are people coming into your house disrespecting like disrespecting your set and what you've done. I get it. A lot of it is for the content and that's part of their life. That's part of what they do. But when it comes down to like, you're pulling up the same thing over and over and trying to, it, not only were they doing that to you too, what I actually thought was really up was they talked to Hayden. Like they, they pulled oh, Hayden yeah. aside and, and the only thing they said to him was, yeah, I'll let you say, it. I you're, don't fully remember. Uh, David goes, Oh, you're, you out of the suicide force video. Like David, shut the fuck up, dude. For real, like time to move on. Uh, we get it, you're hot now. But I think I can speak for everyone who knows you. If you keep this attitude up, your time is coming. I was there, dude. I was there. So ease up, Tiger. Ease the fuck up. Respect. I think you should spar that guy. What's his name, Ryan? Jeff. Jeff. Uh, I think you should spar him, bro. Yo, Jeff, with tech. You want the smoke? Come over Shh. to my house. Come to, come to the Maverick yeah. house. Let's if you're going to talk shit. behind someone's back, bro, like... Come do it at the house. Come do it the right way. Hop in the ring and actually like back up what you got to say. I got to play devil's advocate on this one just because that's the way this episode's going. Okay. <clears throat> okay. <laughs> jokes is jokes. Jokes is jokes. I mean, that's it to a lot of people in this industry. That whole thing's a joke. Yeah, it's at Logan's expense, but people joke about it all the time. Wait, wait, wait. Eh, wait just wait. throwing that well, out okay, there. Okay, okay. Jokes is jokes. I, I, I haven't forgotten about you, our guest, who's one of my best friends, but wait, we're, <laughs> we're in the shit right now. Oh, you're gonna settle it? Wait, I want, I want, I want to bring you on in one sec. Jokes is jokes, indeed. Why I don't think it was a joke is because David and I aren't like this. Yo, what's good, man? Tight, good to see you. We used to be, Evan but now, that. but now he can't. He comes to my house, my party. Uh, my cameraman goes to film him. Dip, dips out. Jeff steps in front of my cameraman. Like it was so blatantly obvious that they were trying to avoid being captured by us. And I, I'm just sitting here confused, like, yo, did you come here to get some bit for your vlog and avoid being captured on any of our content? Or did you come here to have fun with everyone else? I, I, th I think he's got some, uh, some good feedback. I'm going to introduce let's our guest. He calls Jason Tuesday morning at like 3 a.m. when we get back and he's like, he asked Jason, can he use the bedroom bit about him wanting to sleep with Tana from a few months ago? And Jason first said no. Did you did you have something to say about the uh, no doubt. Dobrik situation? So Going back to what Mike says, joke and jokes. That's kind of like, I guess, in my situations where I make, I guess, jokingly videos about my dwarfism. Kind of like what Logan said. There's only a certain extent, extent that a person could go. There's only an extent that a person could go in the relationship with that person. Like, like Logan said, how tight you are with that person. Yep, yep. Like, Logan can make jokes about me all the time. Because I know he's joking. And we're bros. And we love to laugh. Yep. But like, if someone out on the street makes a joke about me, I know they're doing it intentionally and to, and like bashfully. That's just not cool. Yeah, malintent, malintent. And, and you're absolutely right. I think, I think this that's is, my problem. I think it. this is this is actually super close to the <clears throat> Crowder situation that we like skimmed over lightly, like drunkenly the other day, where it's like trying to figure out how to draw the line. Like, let's, let's be honest. They didn't know they were on camera. They didn't intend for that joke to ever get out. So it was a joke that was behind closed doors, I, right? I yeah. think... I, it sounded like they turned on the vlog mode and I think they filmed the joke. I think they filmed they it and never, it didn't make the cut. You know they would never make that cut. They would never air that. So, and, someone I someone, know, someone Instagrammed Jeff in the middle of his thing. He was sitting right here and he's like, oh, I'm on camera. This was supposed to be private. 
Yeah, well, what I'm like, saying is- Like, yo, make- Hey, talk your about me, like, somewhere else. Not in my fucking house on my podcast, bro. Oh, yeah, plus I snuck in. Yeah, it's, it's weird. They didn't sneak in. I found out my assistant, Danny, <laughs> fangirl, then <laughs> led them in here. <laughs> what the f- <laughs> She's like, and this is the podcast room. <laughs> I, hey, but that show is like what kind of people they really are, bro. They're what gonna, they say? They're, they're, take they're, they're like, yo, we, they asked, where's the podcast? They asked me. They were super sweet about it. And I thought they were going to Yeah, so they were just coming off like innocent. Well, I mean, like, I like I will like I will say, like, Corinna's kind of a f-ing sweetheart, dude. Like, uh, I, I have no problem. I, I, like, I, I, it happens. I don't know. It happens. Sort of want to exclude her. Yeah. You know? I have no problems or opinions on any of these people, by the way. I don't know what happened. I don't know the whole backstory. I, I When like, you don't know what happened? We literally just covered it. No, I know, no, 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 I know that. But like, I don't know like why they were saying it or like what the context was. Like, what do you mean, Mr. Like, Devil's there's Advocate? No, there's no need to be a context. Well, I make horrible jokes all the time about terrible things. All of us do. I'll speak for all four of us. We make terrible jokes that are horrible. You, Spencer, maybe not as Let bad. me ask you this. I was going to say, why are you throwing this. all of us into that? Have category? you ever gone to someone's house and made the most... A uh, hurtful joke you could about them at their residence 100%. behind their back. Absolutely, you're a sh- absolutely, wow. and you've That's done disgusting. terrible things too, bro. That's disgusting. So don't act like an angel. No, 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 no. Not in the context that I just gave. Yes, you, I've done you, terrible things. It's just it's like sitting on. It's such. It's bullshit. like what? It's like sitting here. And Give me judging. an example, bro. Give me a fucking example of what uh, I just said. To, you can't. You literally can't because no, I've never done that. Fuck you, Mark. Going into someone's house and making a joke in their basement or garage, like yeah, people people do that all the time. They're at a party, dude. Mm. So, no, if I don't like that person, I will not be at that person. Yeah, like, I like, just in a, in a discussion. Do you have like, an, you do you have an enemy? Do you have an enemy? I don't have enemies. I don't have any enemies because I, I maintain every relationship. That's I right. don't burn bridges at all. I'm dead serious. I'm on good terms. Even Why do you someone's think, a piece he, of he, he, he might be, he might be way, right. He by the way, right. think about it. Why do you, a lot of those people that were at that party, Banks, Alyssa, the net, like all, a lot of those people were at that party because I've tried to fix bridges that have been burned by Logan. Like I am, I am, Evan. Oh, you're going to put me in the middle You're not like going to say anything at all? I mean, I'm not. That's my job. I like building relationships and being friends with everyone, so I don't have enemies, so I can't relate to what, you're, what question wait, you're wait, about Because you don't want your friends to be enemies with your other friends. I think that's the that's, situ- mad, that's more that's the situation. Noble, but that's mad noble. That's good. Yeah, yeah, right, right. But I just want to clarify, right, like, yeah. it isn't just me burning the bridge, bro. I'm often reactive. Facts. Like, facts, like with facts, this Dober facts. situation. Why I invited him to the party. I thought David could come and have fun. Not fucking dog on me in my house on the set of my podcast. You know what I'm saying? I, I get Does that. that. And by the way, I'm also on your side. I'm just trying to look at like the other. Yeah. So long, guys. Like, I really love Jason, but he has, Jason doesn't have any respect for me at all. This guy. But this weird perverted side has come out. And then also, like I said, I, I don't even know. He, can't, he has no backbone and his ex-wife controls his life. So David Stan's come at me. I don't care. Like. That goes so much deeper, but I'm like, I'm getting not about like ruining people's lives, but there's so much more to sh- BS that I just 